Hey people, you found the Hillbilly Voodoo Channel. This here's Project Eeyore, our extreme off-road wheelchair. Now, if you've been following along this series, you know that it's pretty much at the point where we could take it outside and go for a rip. Got all the wiring and the, every, well, pretty much everybody's put together enough that it fires up. And then last episode, we spun it around, rode it around a little bit here in the shop. And, but we're at the point now where I'm pretty sure that if I drive this out the door, it's going to end up getting put to work and not ever going to end up coming back in here to get the little things done. Last time we were talking about the fact that my feet are going to be the first ones to the scene of the accident. There's no bumper on here and I can pretty much guarantee that I'll be wheeling around somewhere and not paying attention and crashing pretty much headlong into something that will end up slamming my feet into there and smashing them all up. And then I'll probably need this wheelchair. And we don't really want that to happen quite yet. So what am I gonna do with this? I think I'm gonna build some type of bar that comes off of here, out. And then a bar that will come out and protect the end of the track, so I'm not slamming those into anything that's immovable. And somewhere where I can set my feet on top for a footrest. Well, what do we got to build this out of? I believe that out there in my pile of random junk, my ground obtainium, I have a little bit more of this style tubing. It's fairly thick wall. If we don't have any of that stuff left, I'm pretty sure that we got some pipe out there somewhere or some old axle tube or something we can build a bumper out of. Well, let's go wander around and find and see what we can find. This is what I managed to dig up. Found some more of that square tubing. This piece was a little bit short. This piece was a little bit long. Cut a little bit off the end of this one. Welded it onto the end of this one. So it should be long enough that I can come off of here, out just to the edge of the track. I found a chunk of, I think it was a trailer axle tube. I can't quite remember, it's pretty thick walled. And it was a little bit short, so I had some other chunks of pipe and I just welded them on to the end. It's just a bumper. It's a little bit textured, but yeah, textured is okay, I guess. So I'll stick these pieces together. I have an idea for the ends, so they're not just a big square chunk of pipe there, but I'll uh, weld these on there where they're supposed to be. I think where they're supposed to be. Or at least I'm gonna tack them on there. I'm not going to weld this bumper to this machine. I'm going to bolt it on there because I know that a few days down the road or a year down the road or whatever it's going to end up getting slammed into something and well bumpers are there to get bent so you know i'll just bolt it on so that i can take it off and and either fix it or build a new one so i'll uh do some welding off camera here or some tacking at least and drill a few holes in this thing and maybe bolt this bumper on so i welded our little pieces of steel on here and poke some holes in the in the frame there to bolt it on. Now I think I'm going to put a receiver hitch on here. Square piece of steel. I got some holes poked in it. Put it somewhere in the middle here so that when I decide to put some type of implement on this thing like a blade or well even a, a hitch to push trailers around that it's there. And I guess if I don't like it I can always chop it off. So I was talking to a another YouTube type person this morning and her her general consensus is that I'm not going to get a whole bunch of subscribers because I got ripped clothes and my shop's a mess and there's duck poop and goat poop everywhere and I got junk here nobody wants to watch that well I'm sitting here in my shop contemplating my life and I started getting a little paranoid that somebody was watching me. And I looked up there, there was a giant pack rat staring at me. And normally I'd get a little annoyed that, yeah, there's a pack rat in my shop, but it kind of gave me a reality check. 
This is real life, people. This is not some faked crap for YouTube. I'm building this stuff. I'm working out in my shop. I'm dirty. And yes, I don't have the best tools. I don't have the most expensive stuff. But if you're watching this, then obviously you're entertained. And you should probably subscribe. This is real life, people. This is not fake for YouTube. This is not some TV reality show. This is how people in real life do things. So yeah, end of that rant. I'm not going to get rid of the pack rack because he was kind of cute, but so what? I'm going to keep building on this thing. Got our little receiver hitch thingy mounted on there. Welded on. Got the ends capped off and rounded around. Kind of looks like a bumper. Those rounded off sides should maybe de deflect us off of whatever we're running into. Now, I'm going to brace from here up to here somewhere. Probably, probably come across with a piece brace to this area here so that the bar that comes up here will protect our feet from the track. And then maybe we'll put some type of shielding in there so that the, the track won't suck our feet in there. Or at least maybe de-pant us while we're riding around. That would be kind of funny. Grabs our pants and rips it off. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna go next. And then that will brace this bumper so that it doesn't wiggle up and down, which it doesn't really wiggle up and down now. Across this part here, I'm gonna put our footrest. I managed to find some I don't know what kind it is. It's it's a piece of aluminum that was on the back of my semi that used to walk on and used to collect all kinds of grease from the fifth wheel, but it should go good in there. It should be, well, it was made for walking on before, so it should be made for standing on now. So we'll see what we can do with these braces here, and then we'll cut a piece of that aluminum for the, for the floor. This here is that chunk of aluminum that I have. It's kind of a night neat grid pattern type thing and I'll try to find some of it that's not got dents in it and to cut the piece out that we need and save the rest of it for another project. Got a chunk cut out of that aluminum and I wire brushed it up a little bit cleaned a bunch of the cooties off of it so it don't look too bad. Drilled some holes bolted it in there so that I can remove it if I need to. That's pretty strong, it should stay there. And I cut out some braces for here. Notched out the bottoms and angled the tops. And I'll stick in there like that. I'll weld those in. They should keep my feet in from hitting the tracks and keep the tracks from hitting my legs and should keep the front end from folding up when I smash into stuff. We'll weld those in there and, and we can use that as a diving platform or something. Yep, should be nice and strong and be a good, good crash barrier. Keep our feet from being the first thing to the scene of the accident. Got our front end all put together. She's done now. All braced up. Looks pretty good. The more I start looking at this thing, the more I'm liking it. It's looking an awful lot like an old tracked skidder that I used to operate when I was younger. Yeah, it's kind of almost the same shape. The one I ran was way bigger. So I'm just thinking that maybe I should put a winch on the back and a stinger and maybe we can use this thing for skidding logs. If you think that's a good idea, maybe you can leave some comments in the comment section. And if you're liking this stuff, like and subscribe so that you can keep following along with this build and with my other builds. 
think I'm gonna cut this video a little bit short here today because it's super sunny outside. And maybe I'll go work on the PT Cruiser while it's out in the sun. So until next time, use what you got to make what you want. And have a good one.